Manila, the Philippine Air Force PAF, is currently evaluating two aircraft for its multi-role fighter MRF, project, Department of National Defense DND, Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said Monday night. One of the aircraft being evaluated is from Sweden, the Saab Jaws 39 Gripen, and the other is the American General Dynamics F-16 Bolts, Lorenzana said when sought for updates on the MRF, which is being eyed to beef up the country's air defense system. He did not give additional details on the process. The Swedish-made Gripen is a light single-engine MRF, capable of speeds up to Mach 2.0. It is armed with a 20mm automatic cannon and is capable of carrying a variety of rockets, bombs, missiles and surveillance equipment. Meanwhile, the American F-16V has a top speed of Mach 2.0, can also carry an assortment of bombs and missiles and sensors, and armed with a 20mm cannon. The MRF is part of Horizon 2 of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program, slated for 2018-2022. which aims to acquire more equipment for external defense. Any aircraft that will be selected must be able to integrate with existing radar systems that have a range of around 250 nautical miles. Once these MRFs are acquired, the PAF, with the help of these radar systems, can be deployed to determine whether the aircraft flying in Philippine airspace is friendly or hostile. These proposed MRFs are expected to augment the existing fleet of 12 South Korean-made Mach 1.5-capable F-A-50PH jet aircraft, acquired from 2015 to 2017 by the PAF as its first supersonic aircraft after the decommissioning its Northrop F-5 Tiger jet fighters in 2005. The Philippines Defense Secretary, Delfin Lorenzana, told reporters in the evening that the Philippine Air Force PAF, is evaluating two kinds of multi-role fighter MRF, aircraft, one from Sweden and another from the United States, to boost the national air defense system. The Swedish-made Saab Jaws 39 Gripen is a light single-engine MRF with speeds of up to Mach 2.0, armed with a 20mm automatic cannon and can be equipped with rockets, missiles, bombs and surveillance equipment. The American General Dynamics F-16V also has a top speed of Mach 2.0, with the same armament of a 20mm cannon, and can likewise carry bombs, missiles and sensors. The acquisition of multi-role fighter MRF jets is part of the revised armed forces of the Philippines Modernization Program Horizon 2, which is aimed at procuring more equipment for the country's external defense, according to Philippines Daily Inquirers. The MRF are expected to beef up the Philippine Air Force fleet of 12 South Korean-made F-A-50PH light combat aircraft. Sweden-based Saab and United States-based Lockheed Martin have reportedly intensified their efforts in promoting JAWS 39CD Gripen and F-16CD Block 7070 Seconds Viper, respectively, in the Philippines. The Philippine Air Force PAF, is positioned to get multi-role fighter MRF jets under the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, modernization program. Max Defense added that both have long-term displays in base air base to remind all Air Defense Command personnel of their products. Apparently Saab has been giving away keychains around the SM Mall of Asia grounds yesterday, while Lockheed Martin and USAF personnel have been going around PAF units and officials these past days. Both Saab and LM are also giving away goodies like t-shirts and keychains to Air Defense Command personnel Max Defense said. For a PHP 61 plus plus billion project, the most expensive the AFP is undertaking in its entire history, giveaways and strong marketing are just loose change Max Defense noted.
In a post in its social networking page, Pinoy Aviators said that PAF Technical Working Group PAF TWG, visited a Royal Thai Air Force base at Surat Thani in Thailand that operates a squadron of fighter aircraft, including the JAS-39CD Gripen. Saab and Lockheed Martin were also present during the ADA's 2018 held September. Moreover, United States government through U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross, Secretary of Defense James Mattis, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in August officially offered Lockheed Martin F-16 multi-role fighter platform to the Philippines in letter sent to President Rodrigo Duterte. We know, however, that our nations can do even more to integrate our economic and security concerns, especially we hope to partner in other significant defense procurement of our mutual benefit, including through the Lockheed Martin F-16 multi-role fighter platform and your attack helicopter platform, among other U.S. systems Ross, Mattis, and Pompeo said in letter to Duterte.